Hello, this video gives you solution to English question bank. Under writing skills, let's see how to draft virtual messages. Writing skills is section 3, question 4. There are 4 parts A, B, C, D which carries 16 marks and virtual message is part A. Let's see the topics. Leave early from home for an interview. You are not well and you will not be able to attend lectures at college. Methods to study for board exams. Leave your hostel to attend a relative. One entry tickets to a popular drama. Let's see the marks distribution. Content carries two marks. Flow of ideas one mark. Language usage one mark. Please note, answers must be in 100 to 150 words. First topic is, leave early from home for an interview. The question is, imagine you have to leave early from home for an interview. Draft a message in about 100 to 150 words to convey the same to your friend. Give your own reasons to support your message. You have to start writing the date and time first. 12th March 8.15 AM Hi Anu, you know I had applied for a job at SSEL Limited company last month. Actually, I received a call for today's interview and have to rush now as interview location is too far. I have to leave very early today as I have an interview at 9 am and I don't think I will be able to reach by lunchtime as may have couple of rounds of interview. I am extremely sorry to inform you so late, but we can definitely plan lunch tomorrow or day after. Let me complete today's agenda and we can speak later in the evening. Till then bye. Dinesh. Topic 2 is You are not well and will not attend lectures. The question is, imagine you are not well and will not be able to attend lectures at college. Draft a message in about 100 to 150 words to convey the same to your teacher. Give your own reasons to support your message. We'll start with date and time. 12th March 10 AM. Hello Anu Madam. I am suffering from fever from last 3 days and hence was not attending the lectures. It is diagnosed as viral fever by my family doctor. Actually, due to fever, I am having weakness and I am on medicines. It will take a few days to recover completely. Hence, informing you that I will not be attending the college lectures till then. Once I join back, I assure you that I will complete all the pending projects and work assigned to me. I also shared some ideas with Sunil. He is jointly working with me on the college project undertaken. For leave formalities, I will attach doctor's certificate once I join. Dinesh Patni. Topic 3rd is Methods to study for board exam. The question is, imagine you have planned different methods to study for your board exam. Draft a message in about 100 to 150 words to give these details to your friend. Give your own reasons to support your message. 12th March 10 AM Hi Anu. We know that there is only a month left with us for our board exams. I have few methods by which we can achieve our revision target easily. It is a 30 days plan that I am sharing with you now. Firstly, we need to give 12 hours study every day for which I have made a timetable. Each day is divided into sections as per our subjects. Early morning studying will help us to remember well. So we will start each day by 5 am. Then we will solve model question papers of each subject. I hope we can also cover full revision before our board exams. All the best, Dinesh. Topic 4 is, leave your hostel to attend a relative. The question is, imagine that you have to leave your hostel room to attend to a relative coming at the city hospital from your native place. Draft a message in about 100 to 150 words giving reasons of your absence of the birthday party of your roommate at the hostel. Give your own reasons to support your message. Answer is 12th March 10 AM Hi Anu, I am going to the city hospital to attend my cousin. He has come from my native today and he has been advised by doctor for some medical tests. Since he is new to our city, I thought I should be there in case he needs something. I have already informed hostel admin about this for the permission. I am sorry that I am unable to attend your evening birthday party. Now I am at the hospital and may take full day here for all scans and tests. It is very urgent and necessary to be with my cousin today. We can surely meet tomorrow. 
happy birthday and enjoy the party dinesh and the last topic is one entry tickets to a popular drama the question is imagine that you have one two entry tickets to a popular drama at a theater near you this weekend draft a message in about 100 to 150 words to convey the incredible news to your best friend give your own reasons to support your message answer is 12th march 10 am hi anu i want to share one exciting news to you today you remember i had participated in our college contest last month the result has come and to my surprise i have won that contest my prize is two tickets at the new era drama at theater near my house so i am going tomorrow to collect those tickets at our college i am happy that we can go together to watch our dream drama this weekend i am planning to pick you up while returning from my class on saturday we can have lunch here at my home and leave for the drama so how is the plan let's meet and have fun dinesh so these are some sample answers we will discuss about statement of purpose writing skills is section 3 question 4 there are four parts a b c d and it totally carries 16 marks the topics for statement of purpose are business management foreign university mass communication english language skills and dancing academy statement of purpose is basically to get admission for this let's see the marks distribution content 2 marks sequence of ideas 1 mark and appropriateness 1 mark please note all the answers must be in 100 to 150 words so our first topic is admission in business management the question is you are highly passionate towards becoming a successful entrepreneur and therefore wants to peruse your higher education in business management your background and skills have motivated you towards business and now you seek admission to accomplish a degree in business management at a reputed university prepare a statement of purpose in about 100 to 150 words which will help you to get admission to this university and the answer is i have grown up watching my parents run a home based business i developed a liking for it and later interest in business i started reading newspapers and attending workshops related to finance and economics i started learning management skills and communication i graduated in finance and completed the internship my goal is to build and run a successful business one day i have desire to learn economics finance and management in depth i am interested in pursuing a degree in business management offered by your school of business i believe i am an ideal candidate for this course and will be a successful business person i will surely apply the skills to fulfill my dreams our next topic is admission in foreign university the question is you have great thirst for knowledge in a foreign language of your own choice you are also prepared to peruse your education abroad for the same you are therefore seeking a university for a degree in a foreign language of your choice prepare a statement of purpose in about 100 to 150 words which will help you to get admission to this university the answer is i have liking of foreign language as a kid i took german language in school it helped me to speak with different set of people later i realized that a career in foreign language would be ideal i was able to translate couple of books in german during my internship apart from this i was learning french and have good proficiency i wish to enhance my skills and want to pursue a successful career as a teacher translator and guide i can fluently read write and speak above mentioned languages i also been volunteering in seva foundation to teach german to these kids i am interested in pursuing a degree in french offered by your university i believe i am an ideal candidate for this course and will be successful our third topic is admission in mass communication the question is you have developed good skills in english language you think of directing your skills for more specific goals 
Now you aspire for a degree in mass communication at a specific university which provides this program. Prepare a statement of purpose in about 100 to 150 words which will help you to get admission to this university. The answer is, I always want to be a news anchor or a TV show anchor. As a child, I would copy them. Later, I graduated in mass communication. I believe one should be passionate about work. News anchoring excited me and I wish to explore career in mass communication. I have started reading the newspaper articles. While in college, I used to write articles and host many college competitions. I have been reading books of great writers, learned various techniques and arts required. I am also working on developing vocabulary, fluency and creativity. I have been good at academics throughout my school and college. The subjects will surely guide me ahead in my career. I hope to secure admission in your university to fulfill my dream. And our fourth topic is admission for English speaking skills. The question is, you have been shortlisted for a scholarship to attend an online course in developing English speaking skills from the American Embassy in India. You always wanted to learn English from expert teachers in India and from the native American trainers. The final selection will be made as per the statement of purpose given by the shortlisted candidates. Prepare a statement of purpose in about 100 to 150 words which will help you to get entry to the course. So the answer is I have been reading books of great writers since childhood. From bedtime stories to novels, reading literature fascinated me. I am working on developing English vocabulary, fluency and being creative. I have been good at education competition at school and college. Since college, I joined library and started quality readings to develop language skills. I have also been teaching spoken English at Seva Foundation. I wish to change the way English is taught in India. I wish to develop spoken and written English program to help India in its developing journey. The best place to learn is from the American Embassy in India. I am the ideal candidate for the course and getting selected in this program will help my dream come true. And our last topic is admission for dancing. The question is, there are limited vacancy for getting admission to a well-known music and dance academy in Mumbai. Dancing is your passion and you always wanted to pursue a career in music and dance. Prepare a statement of purpose in about 100 to 150 words which will help you to join the academy. The answer is, I love dancing since childhood. I used to watch programs of great dancers. Music and dance fascinated me. Later, I started following classical dance which helped me to become creative. I have been taking part in various competitions at school and college. Since college, I joined formal training to develop my passion. I used to choreograph dances at school and state level programs. I am passionate about dance and started learning different forms and styles. I strongly believe that your academy is best for music and dance to pursue my career. I am an ideal candidate and a quick learner. I would love to be your student at your prestigious music and dance academy. So here are few sample answers. Under writing skills, let's see answers for group discussion. Writing skills is section 3, question 4. There are 4 parts A, B, C, D. And it totally carries 16 marks. So the topics are Benefits of traveling, mobile addiction, good handwriting, flood situation and mitigation, paper books and ebooks. And the marks distribution is Content 2 marks, Sequence of ideas 1 mark, Appropriateness 1 mark. Please note answers must be in 100 to 150 words. Our first topic is Benefits of Travelling. The question is, imagine that you have recently discussed with your friends on the benefits of travelling. 
write the same discussion in the form of dialogues that you have experienced write suitable dialogues for each participant giving his or her opinion on the given topic so your ghost dialogues kiran it is been a year i haven't traveled anywhere i really miss going on vacations sonal i completely agree we get to explore new places and an opportunity for a change from our routine ria yes traveling is a great experience new place and fresh air help us to relax and rejoice kiran actually we tried many local dishes at jaipur last time sonal kiran is right we both explored some great places to visit and tasted varieties of local food we get to try new dishes ria i agree also it allows us to spend with close ones and gives us beautiful memories sweet pictures to mesmerize kiran yes guys let us plan for a trip we should pack our bags and leave for an adventurous trip let's go and our second topic is mobile addiction the question is imagine that you have recently discussed with your friends on mobile addiction write the same discussion in the form of dialogues that you have experienced write suitable dialogues for each participant giving his or her opinion on the given topic so the dialogues are kiran hi i again had an argument with my father over use of mobile phone he says i am addicted sonal actually nowadays there is increased usage of mobile by all ria because all our studies and online class are on mobiles we have to use it for long hours kiran smartphones are really useful and helps us in our education sonal but sometimes i feel people waste lot of time over it ria i agree excessive usage leads to health issues many children are getting impacted kiran i feel phones are useful in our lives but usage should be limited sonal indeed phone is useful but it's harmful and addictive too it depends on the person how he uses it our third topic is good handwriting the question is imagine that you have recently discussed with your friends on good handwriting write the same discussion in the form of dialogues that you have experienced write suitable dialogues for each participant giving his or her opinion on the given topic and the dialogues are kiran hi do i need to improve my handwriting i think my handwriting is not legible sonal handwriting must be good it makes your work look neat and tidy ria it is necessary to be legible as we need to write our exam papers and it has to be neat kiran i try to focus but it never looks beautiful what do you think i should do sonal i think with practice you can write better and neat ria i feel mostly work is on computer nowadays so is there any need kiran but still at some places today we need to give handwritten letters and not print outs sonal good handwriting is necessary and it makes a difference in education and in many more professions fourth topic is flood situation and mitigation the question is imagine that you have passed the entrance exam to get entry into the armed forces as a test you participated in a group discussion session with four other candidates on the topic flood situation and mitigating the natural disasters write the same discussion in the form of dialogues that you have experienced write suitable dialogues for each participant giving his or her opinion on the given topic so the dialogues are instructor as informed our group discussion topic is flood situation and mitigating the natural disaster sonal india is surrounded by water all the coastal areas see a lot of floods every year hence we should be prepared ria yes i agree many states face this situation many property and crops are damaged due to flooding kiran for floods or other natural disaster we must be prepared to manage the situation punita steps like build dams and ponds of water storage will help 
it will also boast irrigation riya property and life must be insured along with crops and animals kiran people must be informed and educated they must receive alerts to timely act in situation instructor thank you all it was a great discussion and all contributed with many important ideas and our last topic is paper books and ebooks the question is imagine that you have participated in the inter college group discussion contest on the occasion of national youth day there were three other contenders with you in the final round of the contest and the topic of the discussion was paper books are better than ebooks write the same discussion in the form of dialogues that you have experienced write suitable dialogues for each participant giving his or her opinion on the given topic and the dialogues are instructor we have reached the final round of national youth day inter college group discussion and your topic is paper books are better than ebooks sonal printed books have the feel of a book you can hold turn the pages and feel the paper we cannot get the same experience with ebooks riya i disagree ebooks are cheaper and are easier to carry anywhere kiran but gadgets last for 4 to 5 years and a book once bought is yours for lifetime punita also cost of a gadget is far more higher than a bundle of books riya and books have memories attached to it books can be some childhood memories or a gift kiran It depends on each person which one they prefer paper books or ebooks as per their convenience so now to conclude paper books have their own feelings and ebooks have its own advantages too so these were the sample answers that were formed for this topics if you like the content please subscribe to my channel please like subscribe and share thank you